Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 1 Physics in the year 2019. The question was from Doppler's effect on and this was a numeric type question. <coughs> this question was fairly simple and most of the students would have done this question. But yes, there was one particular assumption which if IIT would have written, then it would have been better. So let's see what I'm talking about. In this video, I will be talking about the solution of this question and the assumption that in my opinion IIT should have mentioned and uh, what we would have done uh, if you know uh, if we ignored that assumption okay so let's see what's happening over here there's an observer who is moving at 36 km per hour and these are two uh, you know trains s2 is at rest and s1 is moving uh, in the direction of s2 so basically uh, these two tracks are basically perpendicular and at the shown instant, this is 800 meters and this is 600 meters. Velocity of the sound in air is 330 meters per second. So basically, uh, we have to find the beats observed by the observer, right? So if you convert this speed in 108 kilometers per hour, uh, this is, sorry, this speed, which is in kilometers per hour, if you convert this into meter per second, this will be 30 meter per second. Similarly, this will be 10 meter per second. Okay, as a bachelor, I had to remember that you know 36 km per hour means 10 meter per second. As a make somehow, yeah, 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 yeah. So, for 36 meter per second, says you 30 to my assy call it. I'm the 36 into 308 or the to to fit 10 into 3 joy 30 30 or like 36 km per hour. Come in a 10 meter per second, yeah, 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 yeah. So, says easy that I'm at the best of 5 by 18 semantic. Also, you can do it, but anyway. So let's move ahead. So at this instant, we can say one wave will be moving, uh, which which comes from S2 will be moving in this direction. Okay, the frequency is 120 hertz. So we can say that this let's say then let's say this is F2, which is observed by observer. So F2 ki value kya aegi? So velocity of sound is 330. Okay, uh, velocity of sound plus velocity of observer because sound is moving towards observer. So which is 10 divide by velocity of sound with respect to source and source is at rest okay so this multiplied by 120 this is the apparent frequency observed by observer uh, of the wave s2 okay now if you talk about this s1 so this wave would have traveled in this direction now remember we are assuming that uh, the assumption that i was talking about we are assuming that sound actually will take almost no time to move towards observer okay uh, but in reality sound is going to take around three seconds because if this is approximately thousand this is actually thousand but sound has a speed of 330 meter per second so you can say that uh, on like approximately it is going to take three seconds so by that time observer would have would have moved slightly upwards so that will change the answers by by a very small amount let us i will do that that calculation as well but first let's assume that uh, this wave itself is what observer is catching over here so in this case this angle will be how much 6 by 8 that means this will be 37 degrees and this will be 53 degrees right so in this case f1 is the apparent frequency which is observed by the observer so we can say that this value will be approximately equal to uh, 330 plus velocity of sound with respect to observer so basically observer is moving in this direction at 10 so we can say that this will be 10 cos 53 10 cos 53 is 6 divided by 330 minus velocity of source source is 30 cos 37 right this is to be multiplied by 120 so if you take the difference of this if you take the difference of these two frequencies so you can do the calculations and you're going to get around 8.12 approximately so 8.12 hertz you're going to get and this was the answer that IIT had given now let us see what is the calculation that I'm talking about or what would have been the exact you know exact way of doing this okay and let us see why it is also reasonable to take this as the correct answer because the exact answer will not differ uh, from this answer by a huge amount okay so uh, now if you think carefully then this wave which is released now 
like if you think carefully wave is being released in every possible direction in this direction in this direction every possible direction acha before that this value is not going to change f2 will remain same because if observer moves it doesn't matter uh, what amount of time the sound takes to reach to the observer relative velocity of the observer is not changing with respect to the sound and hence we can say f2 is going to remain the same so f2 is going to be again 330 plus 10 Divide by three thirty, multiplied by what twenty? You can see over here, right? Because observer is going to move in the same direction. So whatever is the after, no matter after how much time the sound reaches, uh, you know, uh, you are going to write the same expression, right? Even if the observer is here or here or here anywhere. But in this case, if let us see, so here the sound is released in every possible direction. This way, that way, that way, this every possible direction. Okay. so let's say this wave you know one particular wave which reaches over here this is caught by the observer that means observer had reached here and this wave at the same time reaches over here so observer is going to catch this wave which source has reached at this instant at time zero right so this angle will not be exactly 37 will be slightly less than 37 okay so how to calculate this angle first we'll find time let us say some observer catches this wave after time t so this distance will be 10t because the speed of the observer is 10 meter per second so this distance will be 10t okay and this distance will be 330t because sound has taken time t to travel this much so we can apply pythagorean theorem in this triangle right angle triangle this distance will be 600 minus 10t right whole square plus this is 800 is equals to this distance 330d whole square right now you might be feeling that source will also move ahead after releasing the sound that's correct source will also move ahead but we don't have to be bothered by that we have to be bothered by this much uh, this distance that at what distance observer has caught the sound this actually is this wave which will be caught by the observer so we are concerned with the uh, position of the source at the moment of releasing and we are concerned with the position of the observer at the moment of receiving okay so source definitely would have moved ahead but we are not bothered by that so if you solve this quadratic equation you are going to get one negative value and one positive value the positive value will be approximately 3.09 seconds approximately and it is of course reasonable because you can think that this distance will be approximately 1000 slightly less than 1000 so is the speed of uh, sound is around 330 so definitely sound will take around 3 seconds to move this much right so you can see this now if we note it value of time so we can definitely calculate uh, like this distance right this will be 30.9 so now this distance will be 569.1 right 569.1 correct so this distance once this distance becomes known again we we will apply the same type same formula that we have done over here instead of taking theta as 53 and 37 like this 37 we will we now know the value of new theta in terms of cos theta sin theta because this distance is known hence we can calculate this theta and we can we will apply the same formula and we'll get the different answer but as you can see that this theta has not changed much in the like this cos theta if you see or tan theta any 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 theta if you will calculate so it will be very very like you no know, slightly less than 37 and hence it was a reasonable thing to uh, do the question in this manner itself but i thought that it will be a nice thing to discuss the correct approach because in some of the situations it might happen that theta changes by a huge amount in that case you will have to do by this method itself so i am hoping you will be able to do that beyond beyond this cos theta or tan theta we will be able to find out tan theta will be equals to this distance which is 600 minus 30.9 divided by 800 so this will be 569.1 okay divided by 800 so you now from here you can do like you know you can find the value of cos theta and sin theta and everything and you can apply the same thing so f1 i am writing in terms of theta itself so this will be again 330 plus 
velocity of sound with respect to observer so that will be equals to 10 sin theta because this will be 90 minus to 10 sin theta divide by 330 minus velocity of source at this moment which is 30 cos theta okay into 120 of course so this will give you the exact answer which will not be much different from or a given uh, like the IIT answer it will be a nice practice for all of you to see what do you get and you will see that it will not be different from much different from 8.12 that's all thank you